today? Yes, I'm happy and excited. Sun's out. Sunshine gives me energy. Gives everybody energy. I was born in the sunshine. Yes. So, summer. Summer. So, yes, I, um, everybody likes to get a fresh new look, you know, after summer. And, um, I'm very picky about what I shop. I always say I shop like a guy because I'm the girl that actually walks into the store. She knows she's, she's looking for a pair of white jeans and uh, skinny jeans. And I go into the store. I find the jean I want. I find the size. I go to the cash. I pay and I'm out. I don't browse. I don't try on if I don't have to. And I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was looking for, um, I bought this really cute dress. It was a pink dress. And it had some details on it. And I said I wanted um, a pair of pink slippers. I was looking for a pair of sandals, black, and a pair of bronze sandals because it's a neutral, right? It can go with anything, but I wanted something very specific for the dress and those other two sandals. So I was very clear about it. I knew I had to get around to uh, getting it and I went to different stores and I couldn't find them because I know what I'm looking for. I didn't look really hard, but you know, if it came across it, I would have bought it. Then I got a knock on the door <laughs> one day and I opened the door. There was nobody there because I didn't get the door right away. But when I did get the door, um, there was nobody there, but at my door were two pairs of shoes, <laughs> a pink sandals, just this exact sandal that I had in mind, the color and everything was there and a pair of black shoes, sandals. Okay. My size. And they were actually from a good store. I think one was from Aldo, one was from Guess. Imagine, right? So I didn't know where they came from. And um, I brought it inside the house. And I'm like, okay, I guess the owner's going to show up sometime. And actually they did. A couple days later, a lady that I just always just say hello to. We don't talk much. You know, I just pass by and say hello. She says, um, I came to your house the other day, but you weren't home. And I said, were you the person that brought the shoes? She says, yes. She says, um, I bought these shoes a while ago. They don't, I am having problems with my back and I, I've never worn them. And I just thought I would just give them to you. I don't know if you need it or anything, but I just wanted to give them to you as a prep. That's, you know, just to, just, just because imagine that, you know, and, um, was I ever thankful? Was I ever surprised? Oh my goodness. Of course I was. And we talked a bit and then I'm going somewhere with the story. You see, because a few days later she came back with a bronze pair of sandals, wedge heels, the exact shoe that I would buy if I'd seen it in the store. And she says to me, yes, I had this one as well. I thought I'd give it to you. Now there's two parts to the story. I mean, it's amazing. Just what I wanted came to me, literally was given to me, right? I was immensely grateful for it, but there was something I struggled with and that was humility. I have a very hard time. Okay. Humility. I have a very hard time receiving things from people. You know, I, I always feel like I will owe you something. If I take something from you, I'm a giver, but this thing about receiving was hard. So I want to share this message today because yes, God answered my prayer, but he had to show me, listen, Nicole, you are thankful, but you need to work on this part of humility. Okay. It's okay to receive sometimes and, and, and not see it like you're, you're, um, you know, somebody thinks you're in need of something or you know what I mean? It's just a personal thing that I had to actually learn. And it was in my face. It was given to me as a present, but it was also a nudge to say, just be thankful. And yes, oh, it's okay to, to, to be humble and accept when something is given you. Okay. I absolutely love you. Peace and peek and choose my five star lifestyle.